Professor Raymond Noby and Associate Professor Ed Gentley. Department of Ancient History, log entry number one. Here at Castle Kandar with my wife Henrietta, daughter Annie, I believe we have made several astounding finds. In addition to commonplace weaponry of the late 13th and early 14th centuries, we believe we have uncovered clear evidence of the distinct combination of sulfur, carbon, and potassium nitrate unique to modern gunpowder. Until now, gunpowder was believed to have been in use only in China and the Middle East during this time period. We found residue on arrowheads and a payload that appears to have been fired from a catapult. Remarkable discoveries. And here was the first to unearth a mass grave of soldiers just 10 meters north of the castle's curtain wall. Strangely, the soldiers' skeletal remains seem to have been clothed in their armor after death, when decomposition of the skin had already taken place. Spirits and expectations are high, as the four of us plan to explore the castle's rear chamber tomorrow. This is Professor Raymond Noby and Associate Professor Ed Gentley, Department of Ancient History, log entry number one. Here at Castle Kandar with my wife Henrietta, daughter Annie, I believe we have made several astounding finds. In addition to commonplace weaponry of the late 13th and early 14th centuries, we believe we have uncovered clear evidence of the distinct combination of sulfur, carbon, and potassium nitrate unique to modern gunpowder. Until now, gunpowder was believed to have been in use only in China and the Middle East during this time period. We found residue on arrowheads and a payload that appears to have been fired from a catapult. Remarkable discoveries. And here was the first to unearth a mass grave of soldiers just 10 meters north of the castle's curtain wall. Strangely, the soldiers' skeletal remains seem to have been clothed in their armor after death, when decomposition of the skin had already taken place. Spirits and expectations are high, as the four of us plan to explore the castle's rear chamber tomorrow. This is Professor Raymond Noby and Associate Professor Ed Gentley. This is Annie Noby at the ruins of Castle Kandar. My father made an astonishing discovery earlier this week. An ancient volume in surprisingly preserved condition. It is fully illustrated and includes extensive text that we identified as Sumerian. This would place the date of the book's writing sometime between 3100 and 2500 BCE, thousands of years before the construction of the castle itself, and most likely in southern Mesopotamia. Upon further examination, we found that the book was missing several pages. I am happy to report that upon my exploration of a deep pit beneath the ground of the castle courtyard, I located and retrieved all of the missing pages. Tomorrow, I will leave Castle Kandar for the United States, where I will rejoin Ed Getley and my parents to study and translate the book in full. This is Annie Noby at the ruins of Castle Kandar. My father made... This is Professor Raymond Noby, Department of Ancient History, log entry number two. I believe I have made a significant find in the castle of Kandar. Having journeyed there with my wife Henrietta, my daughter Annie, and Associate Professor Ed Gedley, it was in the rear chamber of the castle that we stumbled upon something remarkable. Naturum de Monto, the Book of the Dead. My wife and I brought the book to this cabin where I could study it undisturbed. It was here that I began the translations. The book speaks of a spiritual presence, a thing of evil that roams the forests and the dark bowers of man's domain. It is through the recitation of the book's passages that this dark spirit is given license to possess the living. Repeated here are the phonetic pronunciations of those passages. Kanda, Estrata, Amantos. Ear, Gretz, Gat, Nos Veratos, Kanda, Amantos, Kanda. What was that? Henrietta? Are you all right, darling? Henrietta! This is Professor Raymond Noby, Department of Ingenuity. Henrietta, stay away. I know now that my wife has become host to a Kandarian demon. I fear that the only way to stop those possessed by the spirits of the book is through the act of bodily dismemberment. I would leave now to avoid this horror. But for myself, I... I have seen the dark shadows moving in the woods 
and I have no doubt that whatever I have resurrected through this book is sure to come calling for me. Nevertheless, I have not yet relinquished all hope. The book contains a passage pertaining to a savior, an angel from the heavens who was prophesied to have destroyed evil. Included in the pages is an incantation said to summon the savior. I will attempt to call him forth to remedy my ailing wife and God willing, save me as well. I know you're in there, Ali. Just let me in so we can talk. I now recite the summoning passage. <laughs> Nosferatos, Alo Memnon Kanda. No! Don't hurt me. Oh, how I'd love to feel your skin against mine! Then we had to stop. <laughs> She was my wife. That creature was not your wife, but as a deadite. Are you the savior? I'm Henry the Red, Duke of Shale, but I fought alongside the savior. We must cleave this vile thing to bits before it returns with renewed vigor, lad. I'm afraid there are more in the woods. Blows, blood, and death! Wait, I can't do it alone. I now recite the summoning passage. 